welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you stopped in. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe. It does help my channel out a lot and I appreciate it so much. Oh, this is something else now. Creepy. Ooh. Former CNN host reveals his secret crush on Nancy Pelosi. Okay. Former CNN host Rex Chapman revealed that he has a crush on Nancy Pelosi and the House Speaker from California. <laughs> he admitted this after the recent news of... I gotta sc scroll down here, people. <laughs> News of Pelosi's husband getting attacked inside their San Francisco home. Chapman, a former NBA player who once plead guilty to various felony charges for stealing from an Apple store, criticized Elon Musk on Twitter. He said that an attempt to murder or seriously injure Nancy was recently carried out. He also called out the new owner of the platform for questioning the story. According to him, the 82-year-old Paul was attacked with a hammer. We've all heard. According to him, there have been no individuals in history who accused Paul Pelosi of being gay. I don't know where that come from. According to him, Paul is a real person who has already lived 82 years. He also noted that the Republicans in 2022 would not allow people to ruin their reputations by being gay. He said that being gay shouldn't affect a person's reputation. In response to a question, he said that he has a crush on Nancy. He referred to, to her as a beautiful woman with a big brain. He also referred to her as a sexy individual. During the summer, Chapman was criticized after he launched a vicious attack against Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. According to the Daily Wire, many people regard his comments as racist. I don't know what to say about this at all. So I guess I won't say nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, let's carry on. We'll find something else here. Oh my goodness, my goodness. I'm going to move that up just a little bit. And move this up. I like to separate them once I've done them. Now, I'm not sure about this. Uh, this is about McCarthy. And let's see what that's got to say. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, Republican of California, addresses a crowd during an election night watch party at the National Ballroom. My kids are playing. My four-leggers. National Ballroom at the Weston City Center on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022 in Washington, D.C., Kent Nishmura, Los Angeles Times via Getty Images, pictures, whatever. The House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy's Republican California path to become becoming House Speaker got a lot dicier after Republicans failed to pull off the red wave he had predicted for weeks. Republicans are still likely to take over the House of the Representatives, but McCarthy's gasp on the speakership may be a struggle. If a slim majority hands significantly power to extreme right-wing members like Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican of Georgia. According to several House GOP sources who spoke with CBS News Chief Election and Campaign Correspondent Robert Costa. A restless morn inside Congressional, Congregational GOP Costa wrote on Twitter, haven't seen this level, in, level of anxiety and loathing since late 2015 as Trump ascended. Widespread consensus that McCarthy still in a position to be Speaker if ours win House, Republicans win the House, but his allies now wonder at what cost, with what kind of power. He added Rep. Steve Scalise, Scalis, representing Louisiana and the number two rep Republican in the House, would most likely rise in a potential challenger to McCarthy should he start shedding support 
even if scaleless or scaleless, scalice, S C A L I S E, scalice, isn't interested in initiating a fight. Hmm. My goodness. Well, University of Kentucky student who hurled racial slurs at a student worker has been fired from her inner internship and plans to withdraw from the school. The news comes in the aftermath of a drunken episode in which 22-year-old Sophia Rosing, R-O-S-I-N-G, Rosing, was recorded using racial slurs against Kayla Spring, a black student who was working in an overnight shift at the Lexington campus on Sunday. Miss Rosing allegedly assaulted Miss Spring after being denied entry to Boyd Hall for failing to show her ID. The brazen attack has since become viral, with students decrying Miss Rosing's actions as calls on University of Kentucky President Eli Capilouto, Capilouto to expel her keep mounting, but more details have emerged about Miss Rosing and her role in the university. I tell you, that little boo-boo, he is on a rampage today. Well, we've got rain now, and uh, possibly we could be seeing some white flurries within the next week or two. And uh, I don't know if that's what's doing it, but he's sure got us bringing his rump. He's just bouncing all over the place. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, Miss Rosing's attorney, Fred Peters, told NBC that Miss Rosing plans to withdraw from the school, adding that his client is deeply embarrassed and that she will be entering rehab where she plans to participate in a sensitivity program to help her through the situation. She's going to withdraw from the university today or tomorrow, Mr. Peters told the outlet on Tuesday. She's a very, very embarrassed and humiliated young lady. Well, that's not good. According to local news station WKYT, Miss Rosing is a business and marketing major at the university. A since-deleted uh, Lincoln... LinkedIn page stated that she was double majoring in merchandising, majoring in merchandising, appeal and textiles, and worked as a brand ambassador at the Dillard's department store. Well, it sounds like she's got a, a good uh, career getting going, you know. It says continue reading. But I'm not getting nothing. No. I don't know why this happens, but it does. It blacks out. It says continue reading. Unless uh, it says, okay, go back to home. Just follow me through here, people, because I have no idea. Oh, dear. Here's a, here's a headline. I'll have to look into this one. Uh, police and CCI Des Moines now there might be other Des Moines but we've got Des Moines here you know uh, 200 and some miles from where I live five arrested six charged in Des Moines drug related kidnapping investigation Wow <clears throat> and Baltimore Putin to bail out from the G20 summit amid alleged fears of being slapped okay well, I guess that's it for now. So, uh, I'm going to uh, dig up some more. I'll be back later. Bless you. And give someone else a blessing. I always like to say that. It makes me feel good.